Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And today, we're going to take a simple Dollar Tree item along with the new Raina Mo's bling bag, combine them together, and create something absolutely wonderful. So if this interests you, please keep on watching. All right, my bling kings and bling queens. Here you see I'm starting with the metallic copper Your House a Home acrylic paint. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the copper as well as some of the white pearl and mix that together with the wet sponge brush. Now you're gonna notice that my wet sponge brush, I'm gonna kinda squeeze it out a little bit, but it still was too much water. So I'm gonna end up adding a little bit more of the copper paint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that together and then I'm gonna start painting the start with the lid and that's when I'm gonna realize that it, the paint's too thin because I used too much water, but I'll fix that by adjusting it and adding more of the paint. Then I'm gonna start doing the bottom portion of the acrylic container and I'm gonna actually do three layers to get the opacity that I want for this particular project. But you're welcome to use whatever colors, whatever paints, whatever textures that you enjoy. So the next part is to actually use the bling bag. So here I'm showing you what the bling bag looks like. I've already taken one um, apart and I am just measuring the bling sticker sheet in the rose gold color and applying it to the four corners of this particular vessel. I really enjoy decorating and this particular project was so easy and quick to do and it was very calming and relaxing and I was so surprised at how gorgeous it turned out. But you'll see all I'm doing is just measuring and cutting the bling stickers. Then I will move on to the crystal bling stickers by going ahead and um, separating the baguettes from the rounds and I'm setting the rounds aside because I'll actually be using that on this project but just in a very small amount and the wonderful thing about this crystal is that the fire that catches on the light is just so magnificently gorgeous I can't wait for you guys to see the final outcome of this project so you can see and understand what I'm talking about but I'm just going to continue decorating with the items from the bling bag and then um, you'll see the final product at the end I would love for you guys to comment down below what you think the final project is going to look like and also comment down below if the bling bag is something that you would like to see every month or if it's something you'd like to see every other month or if you would even like to see it sooner by um, me working with one once every two weeks and quite possibly even doing some lives with the bling bag so please comment that down below So here are the crystal bling that I was just talking about and as you can see here I have two rows on this particular um, strip of bling but inside the bling, ba bling bags I gave three strips so you have more of this crystal to work with because it was just so gorgeous I, I wanted to make sure that I gave everybody plenty. Now here you'll see I'm using a little doorknob that I found at uh, King Dollar. And here you'll see the original doorknob was gold and I it was too brassy looking so I changed it for silver so that's what I've affixed to the top of the lid and then there you see I cut the round diamonds off and now I'm going to affix the baguettes onto the uh, lid of the container now this little tool that I have that is actually called a craft iron and you use it just like you're going to iron clothes which I was just showing you don't touch it no 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 because it's very hot and so I'm just slowly going to affix this hot fix crystal strip of baguettes 
onto this acrylic lid by ironing it and using heat. If you have a heat gun, obviously you can use your heat gun, but my best suggestion is to use something like this craft iron because it's actually better and it applies it in uh, an easier fashion than the heat gun because with the heat gun you have to worry about it affecting the paint and even possibly weakening the crystal. So here's a little glimpse of what it looks like so far. On the corners I went and I did a little bit more decoration so I'm gonna be quiet now let you finish seeing what I'm showing you which is the round uh, crystals around the knob and you still have all those supplies left that we can do two projects with out of one bling bag. So here I'm showing you the one bling bag with the acrylic container that we use so that you guys will know what to pick up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna get quiet now and let you guys watch this and see the final reveal. And I hope you guys really, really enjoy it because it was an easy craft to do and it's absolutely gorgeous. And here you guys are and look how gorgeous she really is I hope you can see the fire that the light when it catches on the crystal it's just blazing blingy shiny beautiful if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already definitely leave your comments down below but most importantly do this craft and have an absolutely wonderful evening. Bye.